Hey friends, so this video is going to be all about the main choice new line. It's called Do It For The Culture and this video is not sponsored so I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinion. So I'm starting off by wetting my hair of course and I'm going in with their powerful shampoo. Now this shampoo has black charcoal and black cumin in it and it is kind of moisturizing but is I would say this is more on the clarifying end of things as opposed to being moisturizing so this definitely wouldn't be a shampoo I use every week but it is a shampoo that I would kind of go towards every month or so just because it does strip a lot of oils out but it's still moisturizing so you know it is what it is and then I'm going in with the conditioner now this conditioner is called the courageous conditioner it has the same ingredients of course the actual the whole line is a black charcoal and black cumin line and this was definitely moisturizing but for detangling purposes I did have to put my hair under the water a lot but it is very moisturizing so my entire head is done now as you can see, I'm jamming because <laughs> that wash day playlist got me lit, okay? And as you can see on my face, this stuff was super moisturizing because the way that I do it, I start in that back section, do the rest of my hair, and then I come back to the back section, rinse that out, and go in with my deep conditioner. Now, the deep conditioner is called the Magnificent Miracle Mask, and it's very thick, as you guys can see. It has the charcoal in it. As you can see, it's black everything's kind of black get it it's the culture get it no okay it's cool if you don't get it I got it so yeah I'm just applying this product heavily through my hair and it was very thick but it was very moisturizing like it's not definitely not a slippery detangle with this deep conditioner in your hair type of deep conditioner it's definitely a thick one but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad so I have Completely put the deep conditioner on my hair. And as you can see, my hair looks so good. It looked good, you know what I'm saying? It looked moisturized, it looked juicy. And so this is me after I have deep conditioned for about 30 minutes with a plastic bag on my head. And as you can see, it's still moisturized. It looked good. It's a good deep conditioner, I like it. It's not, it's, I didn't think it was gonna be bad because it's the main choice and their deep conditioners are fire, so. I knew that was gonna be good. So I'm just rinsing that all out, as you guys can see. Now I'm going in with the Accomplished Triple Layer Leave-In Conditioner. And this product was actually good. It was really thick. For those of you who like thick products when you are styling your hair, this would be a good one for you. It's thick, it smells good, I liked it. On to the part I'm sure you guys are kind of really worried about because this is a styler and everybody really wanna know how to style it works. So this is a bold, buttery gel now. This gel is not supposed to be like a crunchy gel. It's supposed to be lightweight. It's supposed to give you that fro look. It's not supposed to have like super defined hair. Like it literally says it on the package. I will put all the claims that this gel has on the screen so you can see what it has and what it does and what it's supposed to do. Okay, so as you can see, I am under the water, I'm in the shower. So I normally get my best wash and goes in the shower. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that my section is wet, moisturized, and I'm going in with this gel. Now this gel reminded me of the Pearl Glaze, the kind of the consistency, but it's just a little bit buttery. It's not like your normal gel at all. It feels definitely different. And I was having some issues taming all of my frizz. But like I said, it's literally the whole line is do it for the culture. Like it's, it's supposed to I don't know, you're supposed to have a fro. Like, it's supposed to be big, carefree hair. So that's what the line is targeting to. So it's for those of you who don't like super defined, crunchy wash and goes. I like a super defined, crunchy wash and go. That's just me. I'm not going to change. But if you don't like that, then you may like this line, honestly. Because Jalen really likes this line. And you know she doesn't like the super, super defined curl. So I'm just repeating that whole process on this top section as well. Adding my leave-in adding some more water and then going in and applying the gel. Now you see me using my Demon brush because I'm trying to get some definition um, and trying to make these curls pop because I, I mentally already knew that my roots, first of all, weren't gonna be like amazingly sleek. I could just feel like once you've done a ton of wash and goes, you know how it's gonna come out as you're doing your wash and go. And I could already tell it was gonna be more of a fluffy wash and go, you know? 
So I'm just going to continue to do my wash and go routine in the shower. And I'll be back shortly, guys. I'll just let you guys watch. Tuesday, September 25th. So I did my hair on Sunday. I think this is day two since it was Sunday and now it's Tuesday. So day two hair. Um, I just woke up, literally rolled out the bed. So if my voice sounds a little deep, that's why, honey. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it out. I pine up with my hair last night because I don't know. I know I'm take. I know I'm washing my hair again today, so I was just like, whatever. Um, so taking this off, just shake it out so you guys can see. As you can see, these products give you fluffy hair, and it's crazy because it looks so good. Um, on the first day, of course, because it looked like day two, day three hair, but. As time goes on, it doesn't last as long for me. This is a bold buttery gel, so it's not supposed to be anything super hard and crunchy, which it's not. So I think the claims of this product are accurate. Um, so I think it all depends on how you like your hair to look. You guys know I am a, um, what is it? A crystal orchid and a gold main choice girl. You know, main choice is my favorite line. So, um, oh, and a glaze girl. Can't forget that glaze. But you know, those those products really, really hold my hair. I don't think I'm actually going to really like this product just because it doesn't hold my hair like the other gels hold my hair or do my hair. And the consistency is just a little bit weird for me. It's 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 interesting. It's very interesting. But um, I just don't think this is going to be something I gravitate towards. Now, um, they do have the entire line. So they have a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, deep conditioner, and an oil as well so I got the shampoo and the conditioner so all of these products are um, basically infused with black charcoal and black cumin y'all don't want to know what I will say I'm like wait what <laughs> black what <laughs> girl give me a I am sleeping I'm still dreaming as you guys know black charcoal is very cleansing so this shampoo was really nice. It really did cleanse my hair. And I would say this is definitely a clarifying type of shampoo because it had moisture, but it definitely kind of stripped the hair a little bit, which is kind of what you want once a month or so. So I would definitely, if you're looking for a clarifying shampoo, not that this is specifying that it's clarifying. I'm just saying it because of how my hair felt after. I feel like I look a hot mess, y'all. I'm so sorry. So yeah, shampoo, very clarifying. I would highly recommend this if you're looking for Something to really cleanse your hair maybe once a month. Maybe not every day or every week or every wash day, but once a month, get get a nice deep cleanser. And you know all of their stuff is um, infused with biotin and vitamin A, C, D, and E. You can kind of find that at the bottom of all of their products, which is why I like them. Um, so, yeah, I like, I like the shampoo. I didn't like the shampoo from their first line. But this one is better than that. So if you like the one from the first line, you'll like that one too, but it's better. So the conditioner, I like the conditioner. It was very thick. Um, did it have a lot of slip? I don't think it had a 
ton of slip, but he had some slip. And the reason I know it didn't have a ton of slip because I felt myself continuing to put my hair under the water. And when I do that, I know that the product doesn't have enough slip. So I do that, but then it has enough slip. So I don't know. It was very moisturizing. It felt really good on my hair. I know I'm going to use it all because it's a good con it's a good conditioner. It smells nice. I think it smells like e um um cotton candy or cake batter. I said it sound it smelled like cotton candy, but Jalen said it smelled like cake batter, so I think it smelled like both. And then the deep conditioner, y'all, this deep conditioner felt so good, but I mean, <laughs> what did you expect coming from the main choice? Like Look at it. Y'all see it? It's like a deep charcoal thick mask it smells so good mm. magnificent miracle mask i like it it's a good mask and also the leave-in conditioner so this leave-in conditioner is so good it's thick i don't really want to waste my product never mind i ain't waste my product because i showed you guys in the clip that it's very thick and i like that i think this is going to kind of pair well with some other stuff that i'm going to be using so you might be seeing this in a few videos because I think I like it. I think I really like it. It was really nice. So if you get anything from this line, honestly, I would still try out the gel because just because I didn't like it does not mean you're not going to like it. Like I said, it's just different for me. It's just not, it doesn't just doesn't give me the look that I want. But if you like the big, flowy, beautiful hair to just like let your hair be, Sometimes I would say this is a good gel to do that, but you're not gonna get like a ton of days out of it without frizz Because I felt like when I first did my hair it had frizz already so You know you have to make products that cater to every type of person. I think that's what they're trying to do um, Not everybody wants super defined curls. Not everybody want an afro So you just have to cater and even if I want Super defined curls today does not mean I want super defined curls my next wash day. You know what I mean? So sometimes I like to switch it up. Depends on what I'm doing, what I want to do, and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's amazing. That's why I love the main choice. And the fact that everything's infused with biotin. That just, like, gets to be, like, and everything smells so good. Ah. Uh, anyway, you guys already know. This video isn't sponsored, by the way. So, yeah. I'm about to go wash my hair. So I can be real cute. Because... This is giving me big, big vibes, and I've already had my share of big vibes for yesterday. So, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs it up. And like it. And comment. And talk to me, because I talk to you, because I like you. You like me too. Hey, hey, we like each other. Uh, and we are big family. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.